Hello everybody and welcome back to Terraria. I have beaten the game. I've said this sentence like maybe five times across all my videos and streams, but it just feels so good to say. But I've I've beaten the Moon Lord. And all that's left for me now is to do some achievement hunting. I do have an idea of how I will complete the achievements. I don't know if I'll get all of them. I'll try. I'll try a lot. <laughs> but no promises. What I do want to do is the last Terraria episode that I make on this world at least. The last achievement that I will get will be the good riddance achievement. Which is clearing out all the crimson and hallow from the world. But that's kind of far away because we have a lot ahead of us actually. First of all, the first thing that I want to do is I want to get solar armor. And what I've done is first of all I've done some fishing. Um, I've started the fishing journey, and throughout, I will be fishing a lot. <laughs> I will probably be fishing quite a bit. Just not now, or maybe every every day I'll do a quest. That's gonna just be a thing that I do. But yeah, I've started fishing. Fishing's fun. It's a good brainless thing to do, but 200, 200 fishing quests is just so much. It's so much, dude. So we'll see. We'll see. I believe I have completed the quest for today. Right? Yeah. I've done three so far. <laughs> three out of 200. <laughs> so we'll see. So the first order of business that I would like to attend to after I get the solar armor, the first achievement that I will do is to get the truffle and move all the NPCs into my house. But you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to say any anymore much more because what I'm gonna do is I've crafted some celestial sigils so that I can refight the moon lord. Uh, I, I've crafted two of them and hopefully with that amount of luminite I can I can actually uh, <laughs> be able to do some stuff. Um, let's go to Steve. What happens if you press help? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Because, like, the guy has no purpose anymore. Oh, yeah, I do also want to make Shimmer. But that's for later. For now. Eight plus... 16 plus 12 is 26 bars. 36 bars. Yeah, 36 bars of Luminite. So I think I'll be able to make that with the two Celestial Sigils that I have. And of course, I will be fighting the Moon Lord more if I don't get the Terrarian, the Meowmir, or the Star Wrath for the Zenith. So, we're probably going to be fighting the Moon Lord a lot in our future. Plus, I need to make Stardust Armor to do the Have 9 Minions at Once achievement as well. I've done a lot of research, okay? Initially, I wanted to, to make it so that I get all achievements. 
by episode 50 and then episode 50 is the finale. I'm not going to do that anymore. But what I have done is a lot of research. I put this doc together <laughs> that I'm going to show you right now. Getting the rest of the achievements in Troy. I want to just see 614 words. I spent like mate, like five hours total just like researching the shit out of how to do everything. Like literally everything, bro. Like how to make the cell phone, rainbow rod, zenith, how to make the terrace rock boots, the onk shield, then like how to summon all the slime pets and like all of that stuff. Actually, this is something I just forgot, I forgot to do. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna load into this world right now. Instead, I will make a new world called Open this when you are better. <laughs> uh, play this in when much better and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a large master I'll do a random but the seed for the worthy <laughs> For the worthy to get the the special seed achievement. I did not know that you can wear buckets on your head. I I did not know that. You learn something new every day. This is actually going to take a long time. I forgot. I'm still in the jungle right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna load into this world and then I get the achievement and then I'll like log out because I, my ass is not ready for this yet. This will happen maybe. <laughs> I don't know if it'll actually happen at some point, but if I like this game enough after a second playthrough and maybe like a third or fourth playthrough, then I'll 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 hop into legendary mode. Cause I've heard this shit is it's so hard. But yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. Maybe I should have gotten this off stream, off recording. I I'm still mixing that up, man. At least we get to listen to the title screen for more than like five seconds. This is a banging title screen. Does it really take that long to add mushroom patches? I did I did select large. I didn't make it a large world, so that's probably some some of it. <laughs> Did it take this long when I made the world initially? I don't remember. Creating the jungle ruins. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find it in this world. <laughs> Sitting in the woods. It's kind of a fun little brain exercise to read this backwards. <clears throat> Smoothing the world. Creating waterfalls. Weathering caverns. What the hell? Mossification. Making cave walls. Growing rich mahogany. Placing traps. Placing objects. Placing herbs. Placing weeds. Dude, I'm getting good at this. Growing vines. Planting something. I thought you already set liquids. 
What are you doing, bro? But we're almost done with this. Generating structures. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. You can wear buckets on your head. I read that already. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Growing water plants? During a solar eclipse, be on the lookout for tons of... Fuck. Strange... Whatever. Okay. I guess you gotta load into it. And then it'll give me the thing. Yeah. Spoilers! Oh my god, spoilers. Oh no. Get me out. Okay. Let's go into Rimblavia now. And refight the Moon Lord. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna keep all my fishing stuff. I'm gonna keep all my fishing stuff in the money trough. That's the potion section, this is the money and rare item section. And this will be the fishing section down here. And then, if we open up the boss summon, we have the Celestial Sigils. Am I ready? No. I did not get buffs yet. <laughs> but yeah, I have my super healing potions. Open up the trough again. Give me one of each. Coffee. Iron Skin, Swiftness Potion, Life Force Potion, Thorns Potion, SUMMON the Impending Doom. Buff yourself, and then we'll, we'll beat the Moon Lord again. Dude, the silence. It's like, it's so tense. Okay. You know how I beat him last time. You've seen me do the fight before. Hopefully I just don't die, because this is still like a hard fight. <laughs> oh no. Run away to regen. Nice, got rid of one hand. Now it's time to get rid of the other. Then once you get to the forehead, then that's when you start healing. I've, we got the strats for the Moon Lord. Okay, heal. I still- I- Dude, I'm gonna die. I'm about to die. I'm about to perish. I'm gonna switch to the- The blaster. So that I can regen a little bit. Potion sickness. The 
this out. Okay. Dude. It's, it seems to be hitting me a lot more this time. <laughs> no, dude. Come on, man. Okay. This is where you run? I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die this time. Dude, it's a hard fight. <laughs> it's a hard fight, man. Damn. That sucks. What did I do wrong? <laughs> what did I do wrong? I don't know. I did everything the same, I feel like. Well, I guess all that's left is to just fight him again. Maybe I should like rewatch my fight with with him again. Last life force potion. Unfortunate. Run away from him immediately. Keep your distance. With the hands, you can just keep your distance. Honestly, with everything, you can just keep your distance. And you want to actually dodge. If you're running away, the the laser's just like lost, a uh, lost hope. Dodge through. Go down. Go to the right side now. Okay. I'm doing a much better job this time, I feel like. We're midway across the arena. Get pretty far away. Still get far away. Okay. Now you just get his forehead. Hi, money trough. <laughs> Not getting hit by the hand is hard, especially when it tracks you. You just want to get like over it and then under it like that. Yeah, I like that. Dude, the, ma the mini map's in the way, man. Heal. I'm missing. Did I keep missing? And how you avoid it is you like go and then you go under. You slip under. You're just able to slip under. Nice. I have, I have a good line on him. I'm just gonna get hit by that. Don't even try to avoid it, honestly. Potion sickness is almost done. Hi, money trough. <laughs> That's the indicator that. Okay, potion sickness is over. Okay, now it's just heart time. Stop, stop, just stop. Just do this for a little bit. I'm stupid. I've made a I've made a terrible mistake. Run under the hand. No, dude. Hey, stay calm. Just stay calm. Nice heal. Just keep wailing on him with the vortex blaster.
Nice. Good. Oh. It's still a hard fight. That's still got my heart pumping. Star Wrath! No way. Did I get both the Star Wrath and the Meow Meow? <laughs> That's pretty cool, in my opinion. I definitely do not have enough Luminite to get a full set of armor, though, unfortunately. Guess we'll head back. Dude. Goddamn! Okay, what's better? The Meow Meow is better. <laughs> we'll test it out. I mean, it's a post Moon Lord weapon, so like. <laughs> what a weapon! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what is the Star Wrath like? Oh wow! It's a super buffed Star Fury? This will be good for when I do the the achievement that's do all three mech bosses at once. Um. Okay. Well. Bye bye portal gun. <laughs> bye bye everything else. Honestly. I feel like the Star Wrath would be better for bosses and the Meow Meow is better for like everyday combat. Although like the Solar Eruption is still like amazing. Like an amazing crowd control weapon. But I don't know. Maybe this maybe the Meow Meow is better for crowd control. And I just don't know it yet. But hey, that's that's two more pieces of the Zenith. Uh, let's get, let's get the Luminite. Here's that Luminite you ordered. Holy shit, it actually is enough. But I don't have any more solar, solar fragments, so... I'm gonna have to... Try to go in here. I have 22. Is that enough? Probably not. <laughs> I feel like the solar part is more important than the luminite part. Ten plus twenty plus fifteen. Yeah, that's that's uh, forty-five solar fragments that you need. But that's okay. You just fight the ancient the ancient cultist again. And we'll summon the lunar towers again. Uh, and I guess it's a great time to test out the the Meow Mir. Wow. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I feel like something like a ranged weapon. Since the cultist is such a so small. Dude.
Maybe a star wraith, huh? Nice. Okay, now we go straight to where this wherever the solar the solar pillar is. It's by the arena again. Very cool. Very, very cool. Honestly, I should I should have this like pots at all times. The good old dragon staff. Okay. Actually, there's asphalt like right above me. I should be using that instead. <laughs> the Meowmir is probably better. So apparently I'm fucking stupid. Uh, I somehow press the hotkeys for to stop recording right there uh <laughs> unfortunately you didn't get to see me kill the moon lord a third time i didn't get anything too useful from it so i i basically i destroyed all the pillars again actually did i even get solar armor that's so lame if i didn't did i even get solar armor in the recording that <laughs> It'd be so annoying if I just hello everybody like, if I just cut and I had solar armor. Very very cool. Honestly, I should I should have this like pots at all times. The good old dragon staff. Okay, well I have solar armor now. <laughs> okay. Actually, this asphalt like right above me. I should be using that instead. <laughs> what happened? Whatever, man. <laughs> God damn it. That's so annoying. Well, I have solar armor now. <laughs> That's so anticlimactic. I had a whole bit where I was like, oh my god, the solar the solar set bonus is so good. Oh well. You have seen me use the Oh, I did get this. That, this is kind of an, an important weapon. I did get the STMG. But yeah, other than that, I just... Dude, that sucks. Hopefully you got to see me use the Star, the star Wrath of the Meowmir. Dude, it's like my favorite weapon. The Meowmir is my new favorite weapon. It's so good. like it. Cats just pounce everywhere. <clears throat> Anyways, what I was in the middle of doing was I was I wanted to construct a surface mushroom biome. And to do this you actually don't need blue solution, like I thought. You actually need um, mushroom grass seeds, which I have. If I don't, I'm pretty sure you can just buy them from the Dryad party. That's my goal. I have 10. <laughs> I have 10. And uh, 10 is all I have. So I guess, okay. I need mud too. Now that I think about it. Surely I have mud, right? Surely. Surely? I just throw all my mud away. <laughs> I 
I mean, it's not like it's hard to get, but it's just annoying. Well, oh well, <laughs> I guess we'll see. The Dryad does sell this, right? Fucking kidding me, bro? <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me, dude. That means I gotta go into the glowing mushroom. Okay. You know what? I guess we'll start on this and then we'll finish it later. <laughs> That's annoying as hell, but. We just gotta deal with it, I guess. Just give me a hundred mud blocks real quick. Let's go back home. We'll find a nice uncorrupted plot of land. How about here? Maybe not by the crimson. Maybe you pillar up a little bit from here. this will this count it will probably count as an artificial bio when you plant some mushroom grass seeds Maybe you go back to the jung back down to the underground mushroom biome. To see if maybe maybe perhaps um Perhaps I can get some more mushroom grass seeds, although I have no idea how I'll do that, like, at all. It's probably something I should look up, honestly. Dude, stop. Okay, it's just by, like... Destroying everything. You just get mushroom grass seeds. Incredible. Agile beam sword.
I guess mushroom grass seeds work the exact same way as um, <laughs> jungle grass seeds. I have four. Oh my god. Life fruit is cool. I can shimmer that into something cool when I do actually get shimmer. I can shimmer the life fruit into a permanent damage up. Which is very, very cool. Not damage up, defense up. Which, depending how you look at it, could be even cooler. Make our way to the other glowing mushroom biome, which I'm definitely on my way to. I am. Then farm some, oh my god. Mushroom grass seeds over here too. You know what? I don't have the terror blade actually. I guess use the meow mirror. Absolutely destroy the local ecosystem. I hope you're enjoying the abundance of meows that you're hearing right now as much as I am. It's, believe me, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. This endless morale, as far as the eye can see, also. New day, new quest. Well, I have to do it in a hurry. Did any more spread? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it does spread. Okay, that's good. So I guess I'll place this on the other side then. Or maybe in the middle. Maybe I'll place some in the middle. So that it like spreads outwards. You can spread in two directions. Or yeah. That's the start of my mushroom biome. What else can I do? Oh, I know what I can do. This is a very easy achievement that I can do like right away. Um Assuming I did not throw away the weapon that I need. <laughs> I don't think I did? I didn't! Shoot a rainbow gun while riding on a unicorn. It's an achievement that you can get. <laughs> but... Put that back. Let's teleport to the ocean real quick, view our quest. The quest of the day. Hello? Where's the angler? <laughs> there you are. Did you know that deep in the crimson, some of those creatures make this gross yellow stuff? I heard a crazy story about a colon and a little But that, 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 that. That caught in crimson, okay.
I guess the crimson's like right here, so. I keep trying to get rid of it, but I guess I do need it for quests. I keep forgetting that I actually have this unicorn. Is this big enough? I think this is a big enough water pool. It isn't. <laughs> I did do research on this. It needs to be 75 tiles of continuous of like touching water. This is definitely big enough. Looking for a yellow fish. We're looking for orange texts, honestly. There it is. <laughs> you know what? I need to sort out all this crap. Agile beam sword. Wait, that's actually kind of a lot. It's not 294. Or like 290. 341. It's not like that, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> Let's go to the ocean. Nice. Compass Rose. Interesting. Doesn't appear to do anything though. Okay, so the next thing is kind of similar to the the unicorn achievement. It's fire a bee gun while in full bee armor. So I do not believe I have a bee gun. I'll check. That's a heat ray. <laughs> If I did have one, it would probably be in this chest, so... Yeah, no... <laughs> yeah, no... So I need to farm Queen Bee a little bit, and I also need to... Do I have beeswax? I think I do... But like, I get it from Queen Bee anyway, so it doesn't. it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't have any. So... I need to- I need to cite my doc- my document again. I need to- how do I make the... Queen Bee summon item? Actually, don't you need beeswax? No, you don't. Do you? Okay, kill, it's killing achievements. It's not killing achievements. It is item based achievements. Queen B drop. Very helpful. <laughs> I swear. I wrote down. Honey. Oh, let's go. Honey blocks, stingers, bottled honey, and hive. Do I have any of those? <laughs> oh my god, stop opening stuff. Do 
Do I have any of that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have stingers. I'm pretty sure. I do. Honestly, goodbye. I feel like you'd sell for like a decent amount. But nature, nothing in there. I don't want another incident where I'm like looking for something for a long time and it turns out I just had it in my chest all along. Okay, I need hive, I need honey blocks. And I need bottled honey. I'm sure you can make that with just like bottles, right? Do I have sand? <laughs> I do. Yeah. I'm sure you can make it by just standing in honey with bottles, right? Uh, surely. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Just like... A beemination, yeah. Honey block, stinger, hive, and bottled honey. Yeah. So... I know Queen Bee drops bottle honey, so I shouldn't need that much of it. However, <laughs> I'm here, I might as well just make a bunch of bottles. We'll teleport to the jungle. Then go in a beehive. I'm th I think this one like super close, so. Dude, the crimson is like. Don't take over the jungle, dude. The jungle's like. Peak, peak soundtrack, dude. For both underground and surface. <laughs> Okay. There's the hive that I need. And I'm surely. Surely. Yeah, okay. And then we have hive. Where did you get honey blocks though? Might have to do actual like wiki research, or it's what happens when honey combines with water. I'm so smart, dude. I'm literally so smart. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I need. Uh, yeah, I can make an abomination. This one though. And I guess you need to be in the jungle, which makes sense. <laughs> this, this, this checks out, I would say. Owned. Beekeeper! It's not what I need right now. However, it's a it's a zenith ingredient. So I have I have like a decent amount of the ingredients already. I just need the horseman's blade. I need the seedler. I need, and I think that's all. No. Oh, I need an enchanted sword and a star tree. Okay, I'm actually not that close, but <laughs> we're we're getting there. We're, we're getting there for sure. 
Uh, I need to mine a lot more hives. And you know what? I can just make it right here. This is fantastic. There it is, the bee gun. That was a that was a not very painful grind actually. It wasn't even a grind at all actually. <laughs> and I probably have enough wax. To make B a full set of B armor? It's A1216. It's A1210. Okay. First of all. Boop. Oh, I had honey blocks? Oh no. <laughs> I needed to get hive and stuff anyway. But. Yeah. Beekeeper. A nice ingredient to add to my collection. To the zenith. So let's let's quickly let's make bee armor. Put those in there, trash those. Let's put those in the money trough. Sell everything else. <laughs> I still want all the bait stuff. Okay. Put the bottles in the money trough for potion purposes. Uh, uh, let's check on our mushroom biome. It's, it's grown nicely. It's spread nicely. So we have that achievement. Um, we have Shimmer, but I can't do that yet. For reasons I'll explain later. Uh, other achievements, you know what? You know what we'll do? I'm making progress on that one. I did the bee gun and rainbow gun achievements. And the special seed. You know what I can do? I can do torch god. Aww. I can do torch god. That's a that's a nice fun one, in my opinion.
Okay. What do you do for Torch, Scott? I'm sure you know, but what you do... I do not have any torches. Why is that? <laughs> oh, I do. I'm, I'm just blind. Okay. Let's do it. Where do, where do we want to do it? Let's do it here. We'll make an arena with a bunch of platforms. And you have to place 101 torches. All in a enclosed area. And then the torch god will display his wrath. Try to kill me, and then I won't die because I'm goaded. And then I will get the Torch God's blessing. Or oh, I think that's what it's called. I don't actually remember. <laughs> but let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about dashing. And how it's a thing that can happen. Just be goaded. Okay, it's it's like doing no damage. I'll dodge for the fun of it. <laughs> Maybe I should have like no armor, but I don't want to die during this, you know. You have to dodge this until every, everything's done. Should be pretty easy. the Torch God's favor. And now I consume it. And I've been given their blessing. Where actually is that? That option. Close to the inventory? Oh well, I'm not ever gonna use it, but... <laughs> Actually I might, cause like, having torches that... Dude, why am I getting this beam sword so much? <laughs> having torches in the air co that correspond to the area that they're in increases your luck. And, because... I want to be fishing for as little as possible. <laughs> I I want to get get good crates, get good drops. So let's go. And to end off the video, to end off this episode, I will do one more quest. Surface Tundra. Oh, a pinkfish. I already got this one. Oh, I've gotten this one before, I should say. Um, because after I do this, um, after I do this quest, I will have 
successfully done five quests, which is an achievement. So rounding out, we got one, two, three, four, four achievements, <laughs> which isn't that much. Four out of 30 left, it's not that much, but oh, surface tundra. <laughs> That's not that much, but hopefully once we get into the swing of things, we will be able to knock a lot more achievements off the list. And I'll maybe next time I'll actually make a plan for what achievements I want for the next episode. So that things go smoother. That was not a paying fish. I just want a ping fish. Bro, please. <laughs> a bomb fish? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> Please. <laughs> At least like fish up a crate if you're not going to give me the quest fish that I want. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, that's not actually that good. I thought that was the water walking boots, which I need for the terrace fox boots. Is it because I'm just using regular worms now? Dude. <laughs> I still want the fangfish. Crates are cool, but I still want the fang... I still want the pangfish, bro. Are you gonna give me the pangfish or not? I swear to god. Copper bar! That's cool. That's actually good. I, that's actually useful. I didn't make a copper short sword for the Zenith. Most pogged I've been for copper ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, I swear to god. Why aren't you using journeyman bait? Also. Oh well. I'll just like use it up, I guess. Oh my god, I'm going to become the joker. <laughs> Dude, fishing is such boring content, please. Please. Mm. I want to fish. Please give me a pang fish. Burn fish, pang fish. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there you go. Jesus Christ, dude. 
I should probably put together the, f the fishing chest. Bass, abundant cod, bomb fish, balloon puffer fish. Put everything else somewhere. <laughs> I don't need these, <laughs> unfortunately. Copper bar though, actually pretty useful. And now with the fifth quest, I miscalculated. Never mind. <laughs> I don't actually end off on an achievement. I get a bunny mount though. That's cool, I guess. Are there any other quick achievements that I can do? Oh, it's f it's ten. The next achievement is 10. I thought it was 5. Never mind. Let's see what I, what I can do. I guess. Eater of Worlds. <laughs> that's, that's for next time, though. That's for the future. Oh, I can do the drone achievement. Just fly a drone into outer space. I put it in tools, right? Dude, where is it? Worst case, I can just buy it again, but still. Dude, I still have a fucking. I still have golf clubs, bro. I should. I should have. I should have the drone. Wait, are they? Is it in the toy chest? It is in the toy chest. The FPV goggles. Flight club. How do I use it? <laughs> Let's hit left in a minute and press up to accelerate. Oh, up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, god damn it. It's <laughs> the Moon Lord Arena. Oh no. My training. My training. It really, it really prepped me for this. Okay, where are my wings? <laughs> where are my wings? I think I just put them in the toy chest. Yeah. Okay, well, with that, that is one, two, three, four, five, six achievements done. At this rate, we'll be done by, epi by episode 48. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. But yeah. Fun little achievement hunting episode. The start of the achievement hunting saga. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get all achievements for certain or not. But what I will do is I will get as many as possible until the end of the series. But until then, you still have like a little like mini arc, a mini final arc to end off the Terraria series. So enjoy it while you can, because it will be gone at some point. 
And of course, as always, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. I've been Rumblog, and I'll see you next time.